Hi again, this is CBS Mobile's Special Eye on the Beijing Olympics. I'm Ramey Innocencio. Today, Michael Phelps' Great Hall of China, China's track dream dashed, and U.S. women gymnasts keep it to a cool silver. The best photos now kick off week two of the Summer Olympics. First up, count them, eight golds. With his last event Saturday night, Michael Phelps did what others said was impossible. He and his 400-meter relay team of Aaron Pearsall, Brendan Henson, and Jason Lezak broke the event's world record clinching gold, as Phelps also broke Mark Spitz's 1972 record of seven golds won at the single games. With cameras flashing, he then ran through the stands to his proud and teary-eyed mom, Debbie, and sister, Hillary. But it's not over yet. Phelps says he just may try for nine golds in the London Games of 2012. You can also expect up to $50 million in more endorsements this year. Meanwhile, over in U.S. women's swimming, 41-year-old mom Dara Torres swam to two more silvers. She lost the gold graciously to German Britta Steffen by just 0.01 seconds. She then anchored the women to another silver in the 400 medley. In emotional, Torres finishes up her fifth Olympics and says she is headed back home to buy school supplies for her daughter. Now to the second day of the women's individual gymnastics. The U.S.'s Nastya Lukin and China's He Kuxian both scored 16.725 on the uneven bars, but He walked away with a gold. That's because she started with a higher difficulty value in a new and critics say complicated scoring system. And earlier in day one, Sean Johnson's 15.5 was good for gold through the goofs and falls of seven of her eight competitors. That's until Romania's Sandra Izbasa. She hurled herself to a 15.65, pushing Johnson to silver. Nasha Lukin came in with the bronze. And looks like China's hopes for a track and field gold were dashed to the ground Monday. Liu Xiang, the country's revered Olympic track champ and national hero, pulled out from the games because of an Achilles heel injury in his right foot. After a false start in his first round, Liu simply clutched his leg and walked off the track. Showing just how much his fans love him, many started crying, including his coach. At the Athens Games four years ago, Liu became the first Chinese man to win an Olympic track and field gold medal. Now in other Olympic events in brief, Jamaica's Usain Bolt keeps living up to his surname. He has advanced to the semis of the men's 200 meters after his quarterfinal finish of 20.29 seconds. Bolt is trying to become the first 100-200 sprint sweep since 1984. In U.S. men's volleyball, the team of Todd Rogers and Phil Dalhauser has advanced to the semis too. They qualified with a 21-13, 25-23 win over Germany. And finally, in tennis, Venus and Serena Williams simply hammered the Spanish to a gold doubles win, 6-2, 6-0. That means their Olympic record is now 10 wins and zero losses. And remember, for more Olympic action, head to CBSNews.com anytime, anywhere you're on the go. I'm Ramey Nascencio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.